Penn Wallace has been described as a happy-go-lucky, Hemingway-esque adventurer who lives on a sailboat as he sails around the world. He is the author of the Teddy Guerra thrillers. The fourth series is just out. The fourth in the series is just out. It's called Bikini Baristas. Penn, what is Bikini Baristas about? Uh, Bikini Baristas is about Dick Randall, who's the owner of a chain of coffee stands, who disappears in the California desert. And it's also about a young man named Clayton Johnson White, a teenage kid who thinks he's smarter than the rest of the world. Um, female PI Katrina Flaherty and her partner Teddy Guerra are hired by Dick's wife to find out what happened to him. And when they start turning over stones, some truly shocking things come crawling out. And the two stories come together with the force of two colliding freight trains. What are bikini baristas? <laughs> Bikini baristas are a Seattle phenomenon. I haven't seen them in, uh, in other cities, but um, we have these roadside coffee stands where you can pull in and order your favorite beverage to be prepared by, um, shall we say, a scantily clad young lady. Bikini baristas. And what is the theme of this book? Um, the book is about two selfish people who, who have no regard for the rules of society. I don't write books with happy endings. Uh, I, I, I write books that are more true to life. I like to think they're more true to life. But you know, I read a lot of books with rogue heroes who break all the rules to accomplish their goals. And I wanted to show that society doesn't work that way. There's always consequences for your actions. So your main character is always Teddy Guerra. That's right. Who is Teddy Guerra? Ted is a the son of Mexican immigrants who grew up in the barrios of East LA and won a football scholarship to the University of Washington where he met Chris Hardwick. And Chris is his best friend who is the kid born with a silver spoon in his mouth. And the two of them um, come together to form a great crime fighting duo. And since you have both Ted and Chris in all the series, which one is based on you? <laughs> I've been asked that question a lot. Um, Actually, they're part of my split personality. Um, my mother is Mexican, my father was, is of Scottish heritage. And so the Mexican half of me, there's a lot of me in Ted. But the Scottish half of me, you'll find a lot of that in Chris. So you spend a lot of time riding on your sailboat. That's correct. But this book is not set on your sailboat. No, this book is back in Seattle. There's only a couple sailing scenes in it. Uh, but this is back in Seattle um, after Ted, and Chris, and Kat have gone through the drug wars in Mexico. They return home and get back to normal life. You mentioned that you have a female PI, Kat, yes. Kat Flaherty. Is she based on somebody you actually know? Actually, yes. Um, Katrina, Katrina Flaherty is a real kick-ass heroine, and she's based on a woman that I did some consulting work for a few years ago. So everything I write about Kat is true. As, as, as hard as it may be to believe, that's who she really was. I just changed her name to protect her identity. What was your career before you became a writer? Um, I was a software engineer and a computer security analyst like Ted. So uh, in earlier books like Hacker for Hire, we get into a lot of uh, hacking and that's all stuff that I did for a living. So you impart a lot of your professional experience into your books. Absolutely. So you write about what you know. That's what they say. Although, to be honest with you, I didn't know an awful lot about the Mexican drug cartels when I started the Mexican Connection. So how did you do your research? Uh, there's this wonderful thing called the internet. And um, I, read a, I read a couple of books. I talked to some law enforcement officials um, that were very familiar with what was going on down there. And I did tons of research on the internet. So this is a work of fiction. How much of it is based in truth and reality? Well, like the, to, fair, to paraphrase the old Dragnet TV show, the story you're about to read is true. The ch names have been changed to protect the stupid. <laughs> These two stories really happened uh, at about the same time in Seattle. Um, it was 2008, I think. And if you lived in Seattle at the time, you're sure to remember, recognize the stories. I've inserted Ted and his friends into the story to make it my book. Um, and I had to make up an ending for the Bikini Parista plot line because we really don't know how that ended. Um, no one yet has found out what happened to the owner of the coffee stands. But by the time we finish reading your book, we will know what happened to your character. That's right. You'll, and, and I guarantee you, you won't guess the ending.